In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a trick to crop out fur or hair. So this is the before and this is the after. So let's go ahead and uh, get started. Alright, so first off, let's start by using the pen tool. So you just go here, select the pen tool, or shortcut is letter P. I'm just go ahead and zoom in. And I'm just make a point here, point there. Let's go here, point there, drag it to the right like that. And before you let it go, just hold Alt, bring that back in. Now let's go here, make a point there, point there. And I'm just holding the space bar to drag it up. And we're just going to crop it out like this. So every time I'm cropping out an image, I start off with the pen tool. And let's see. Let's make sure I get everything. All right. Now here, usually, I would just kind of, you know, go around like that. But we're not going to do that. I'm going to show you a better way. So let's go here. And let's just go ahead and just do this. And you see right there, we want to bring that down. So all you have to do is hold Alt, go here, drag that down. And let's go ahead and uh, finish the rest. And here we just make a lot of point, kind of like that. So I have that jagged look. So once you uh, get used to the pen tool, it's pretty easy. And if you get good at it, you can do it pretty quick. Alright. Now we're back here to the fur. And I'm just make a point there, there, point there, there. So we're almost done with this. Alright, now let's crop off that part. Zoom out. And let's go ahead and close that out. And let's go here to path. I'm hold control. Select that. It should make, it should make a selection around it. Usually I would just crop that out too with the pen tool, but for this tutorial, I just want to show you uh, the trick that I like to use when um, cropping out fur or hair. So let's go ahead and go back to our layers. Let's make a copy, Control J. And you see image kind of like that. I'm going to create a new layer so you can see the, uh, the fur better. So I'm going to select like a gray like that. Click OK. Fill it in, Alt Backspace. So here's the cool part. This is the uh, trick I like to use. I'm going to zoom in. And let's bring back the main image. And let's lower the opacity about. Let's do 40. We want to see where the fur is at right there. And let's go here up to this image. Let's go here to the Smudge tool. And let's start with maybe 3 pixel strength. Keep it at 40. And what we want to do is just smudge it. So we're trying to paint, maybe bring it higher. Let's do 80. So we're just trying to smudge it. 
It's kind of like painting, but just dragging the pixels. So that way you don't have to, you know, go here, try to sample the color. The smudge tool is just dragging all the pixel here. And like I said, it's kind of like painting, but we're not using the brush. So let's make sure you try to follow the fur here as best as possible. And I am using a tablet, so it's working good for me with the uh, tablet. If you have a mouse, it might be a little bit harder. So yeah, what I'm doing is just smudging it and just trying to make it match up with the original. So it's looking good. And you can do a different uh, angle like that. Curve down. So check it out and see. That's looking good. Let's go back here. Yeah, so I'm liking how it looks. So this little trick I like to use when I'm doing um, cropping out fur or hair. Yep, that looks good. Now let's do the right side. Same thing. So this one is kind of trying to drag to the right, so it might be too hard for me with the uh, even with the tablet. So I'm gonna hit R to rotate it. like this now it's gonna be easier for me to just smudge it up like that so let's go back here to the smudge tool so yeah after rotating it is much easier space bar drag it up like that now we just follow along like that with the original Make sure that's all smudged. Nice, right, looking good. So I'm gonna hit R, reset view. Looks good. So maybe it's just a couple parts right there. Let me just bring the smudge tool back, clean that part up, make it blend in better. Zoom out, check it out. Yep. Yeah, it looks good. And if you want to watch the full tutorial, you can head over to my Patreon page. It's uh, patreon.com slash noiseworks. I'm going to leave a link in the uh, description. So if you want to check that out, just go ahead, uh, head over there. Again, if you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching.